Welcome back. There are a variety of component annotations that we can use. Until now, we have been using at component to declare all our components. However, there are other options present at controller, at service, at repository, and other stuff. So, what is the difference between them and when to use what? That's basically what we would want to understand in this video. You look at all the examples that we have used until now, we are using at component. If we look at the stereotype package, there are other stuff, component, controller, and repository and service. So add component, add controller, add repository, and add service. These are the different stereotypes that are present in Spring. So when do you use which one? That's the question we would try and answer now. Whenever we talk about web applications or any applications for that matter, there would be a web layer or the UI layer which kinds of shows the information to the user. And the business layer is responsible for the business logic and the data layer is responsible for getting the data. So it might be from a database or an external interface. Some of the people have an external interface layer which talks to the external applications. At component is very generic. So in any of these stuff, if you're not sure if something belongs to one of the layers, then you can use a at component. However, the other three annotations are very, very specific. So when you talk about at controller, at controller, we will look at it much more in the Spring MVC section of this course where we talk about web application. At controller is used to define a controller in the web layer. We'll discuss about the MVC pattern, model view controller pattern in the web application section of the course. We will understand that the controller plays a crucial role in making sure that the model is populated and the right view is rendered. When it comes to the business layer, we are supposed to use the at service annotation. When it comes to the data layer, we are supposed to use the at repository annotation. So basically, the except for at component, the remaining three annotations are specific to the layer. So at controller is in the UI layer. At service is in the business services. At repository is the ones which get the data from the database. If you read the text out here, it says encapsulating storage retrieval and search behavior typically from a relational database. So it's typically from a relational database, but also it can be from a big data store or anywhere you would want to get the data from. So at repository is related to getting the data. At service is related to business logic. And at controller is related to the controller in the MVC pattern. Let's look at an example now. Let's go into the scope. The person DAO, if we look at it right now, we are using at component. But DAO is supposed to be getting the data from the database. So it should be a at repository. Organize the imports and we are good. Now, if I run the scope application, you'd see that it's working as usual. And also, if we look at the other stuff which is present in here, so XML here, we are not really using annotations. We are depending on XML. So that's not really a place where we can use our annotations in. You have the component DAV. This can also be a at repository because it's getting data from the database. Let's organize the imports. If we look at the basic example that we were using, the binary search IMPL, this is business logic, right? So this kind of determines how to do the search. That's kind of business logic. So you can actually use at service in here. And even the algorithms are kinds of services. So you can actually call them services as well. So anything in the business logic, anything that provides business logic is an service, at service, and anything that is kind of talking to the database is a at repository. You'd see that when you run these examples, there is no change in terms of the functionality as such. So if I run the basic application right now, it would run as usual, perfectly fine. So now the question you might be asking is, if there is no change in functionality, why should you, I use a specific annotation? Why should I call this a service? Why should I call the other one at repository? One of the things which we look at in the AOP section is that you can identify the annotation and add functionality over to that specific thing. So the these annotations at service, at repository, at controller allows you to classify your components into different categories. 
and you can apply different logic for each of these categories. For example, Spring provides a default exception translation facility if you use at repository. There are a lot of JDBC exceptions and Spring classifies them and translates them and that feature is provided only if you were using an at repository annotation. So on your database component, if you are putting an at component, you will not be able to use that feature. Also, you would see that at a later point in time, let's say you would want to log everything that's coming into your business layer. In that kind of scenario, you'd be able to identify everything that has an edge service annotation. You can use AOP to identify that and you can log all the content which is coming in. We'll have a detailed discussion about this when we are talking about it in the AOP section. In this quick video, we looked at the different options that you have for ad component, at repository, ad service, ad controller. And we looked at the fact that the three annotations at the bottom are specific to a layer. Until the next step, bye-bye.